my sister, who was due the day after me, um, responded to my message letting me know that her baby Lola had actually been born the minute that my waters had broken. I think I was in shock. Um, I didn't, we, Jane had surprised us with Lola's arrival, so um, I didn't know that she was in labour or that she was on the way. Um, and then obviously I was in shock that I was in labour and it was all happening because you kind of don't think it's ever going to happen even though you've passed your due date. Um, and then I, once everything had settled down, I think we've just realised that it's going to be pretty special, I think. They'll, they're just about twins. Complete surprise. Um, absolutely everyone we tell, even people here at the hospital, are very surprised that two cousins born on the same day. We actually lost our mum a few years ago and her anniversary date is the, not May, but the date that the girls were born, so the 22nd. She passed away on the 22nd of January, so that was pretty special. Dad went from Lola in Geelong to um, Charlotte up here in the evening, um, so he was pretty chuffed. I think he thought it was quite efficient getting it done in one day. And our other sister that gave birth at um, Epworth five weeks ago, so he's got three in five weeks. Hello, Lola. Lola. She's massive. Yeah, she's big. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Look. Hey, what's that? <laughs> you go, Lola. Meet Charlotte. Yeah, she slept three hours from like three or six, but it takes us like an hour and a half to feed, so. Yeah. yeah. You don't get much sleep. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. We're messaging each other and going through things at exactly the same time and troubles with feeding and everything, which is a massive support because it's the kind of thing that you don't understand till you're going through it. It's one word texts and they understand because they get you. 